What a way to start with Acid coming back with his 12 month membership. The Big 12, I had to get that going as soon as I could while it was still in chat. What's going on guys, how's everybody's Monday going? It is President's Day, right? So I'm thinking a lot of you guys are hopefully off today. How good is a mellow pheasant? That is pretty rare. I've got a mellow hen, I've never shot a mellow rooster. But yeah, uh, as I'm sure you guys saw from the title and the thumbnail, we're chasing red deer and quattro today. And I have gotten out, I've hunted them a bit. I've kind of altered my setup as much as I could, trying to determine where the red deer are. They seem to be kind of, like they all spawned in clusters and as I shot some, they sort of moved. So a fair bit of the stream is likely to be moving tents, moving tripods, just sort of getting stuff set up and trying to find them. I, I think you're probably, uh, probably right, bottom boy. In the process of calling off work, what a way, a perfect Monday. Mine was a gold mellow rooster. That's the one thing that keeps bringing me back to, to Rancho, honestly, is the hope of finding, I don't care, leucistic, albino, mellow, all of the rare roosters look amazing. I'm hoping to accomplish such things one day. Bottom boy with the 12 plus 6 as well. That's insane, dude. 18 months, time flies. I appreciate you, man. What's up, Mel? Got a great one, only two diamonds in? That is insane luck. I've gotta say, I feel I feel good about this grind so far. Maybe it's been the mere fact that red deer seem to be spawning kinda in those clusters, and as they're starting to spread out, maybe it's not gonna be as uh, insane feeling, but from the get-go here, it seemed like the red deer are a little easier to hunt here than they used to be. Why, hello? Guess they're all down in the shadows. Let's let them get out of there. There might be some over on this side. In fact, I see a bunch of hinds. So this has been the other thing. Uh, when I've shot stags, they've not always gone back into the herds, which is to be expected. It's just going to be a matter of finding where the stags like to respawn. We might spend a fair bit of time on the river today. Uh, I did see some down there when I hunted that, and a bunch of it's unhunted, so that might have to be a part of it. What's going on, Rebecca? Have you checked the whole map yet? The river, I've definitely not checked. Um, I've not been here. I don't think I've really checked this lake that well. And I'm gonna say that's it. I'm pretty sure I've been to every other body of water. Busy chat today? Yeah, I think mostly everybody's off uh, from school today, at least. I don't know, does work ever give people off for President's Day? I have no idea. Fiddler, that's a new one. <laughs> Can me and you play online? Lobby? And our... Alright, I'm not sure what the second part of that meant, but uh, I'll leave it at this. When I'm recording, uh, a lot of times I play multiplayer, and even when I'm not recording, I'll jump in multiplayer and try to find cool stuff for videos, so I would say if you're in multiplayer often enough, there's a fair chance you'll uh, run into me. That I'm sure there's people in chat that have had such experiences. They sound like stags, but they're always hides. I want to be persistent and not just leave this lake right away, but the Fiddler counterpart to the Riddler. Well, there was another new one yesterday. I forget what it was. Quattro Cleanus is very underrated. You know, I never cared for the map when it came out, and I think it was because the Ibex were the feature. And to me, they just weren't that special. I, I think I got spoiled by the Alpine Ibex and the Hunter Classic, because they are just incredible looking. But, you know, you start to realize the red deer and roe deer, wild boar, like, some of those species on this map, it's about as good as it gets. Tay may have taken over as the king of red deer hunting. Just depends on if you like hunting at night or not. Alright, I'm convinced. Let's get out of here. Let's go to somewhere that's actually going to have some stags at it, hopefully. How rare are diamond black buck? I'd say more rare now that they've gotten true racks. Alpine ibex are top tier. They just look amazing. I love them. I need to hold off from hunting them every single time that I play Classic, because when I, when I jump in Classic, I'm like, man, I could, I could go for an Ibex hunt today. By the way, I believe it's been confirmed that the scopes also hit just a touch to the right with the AR, so you gotta be careful with that, but when we're going for long shots, it's normally fine. I love that that happens. That is the most bizarre thing. Well, he's just gonna drop dead. Like, we shot him, he went diving into the water, and for some reason, they respawn calm. Saves you some tracking. Quattro doesn't have fog. Apparently you can turn that off. I've not messed with it. I'm not big on turning off like fog and stuff. The reason that I leave motion blur and fog and heat haze on 
is because the devs spent the time to create it and make the game look good with it. I'm not really a fan of just turn it off because it, you know, hinders me. Realism, I guess. My, my favorite haunts are like foggy mornings in real life. The, the morning, the morning you know well from West Virginia, bottom boy, that was one of those kind of foggy, cool mornings. Just my favorite. I have not tried the 22H Edge Axe, and I've been pretty focused on the new ARs, and uh, actually today, loadout would not allow for that. I've got tents, I've got tripods, and I've got, for some reason, the goose color from that last hunt, uh, and then the 308. Just kind of keeping room to be able to move the tents and tripods around that we have on the map if needed. First tag of the day is a silver. I love that diving into the water and then coming back. And we're pretty well, I would say, far enough away to determine that we're not on the other side. Did it spawn? How do you get need zones back? If you delete a zone, like if you shoot, say, four red deer in one spot and that zone goes away, the singular red deer, if there's, if there's only one or the herd, will just move to another spot. So you just have to find where they've gone to. Can't wait to buy the DLC tomorrow when I get home from school. I think a lot of people are going to be super psyched to uh, get their hands on these things. I mentioned it in the Medved video yesterday, if you caught it. Like, the temptation, when there's enough animals around to delete zones, to just literally keep shooting, because <laughs> you can. It cannot be overstated. What's up, Joe? Where did that go? Didn't get to read it. Uh, how was your weekend? It was good. Got to uh, spend some time outside yesterday. It was nice and warm. Took the dog out. Went on a walk today. I think I might, there's been a coyote around, I think I might have an idea of how I can maybe get in and try to uh, hunt that, which I think considering the new puppy situation, that's a necessity, so that might be a thing in the fairly near future. Let's shoot this one first, and then, whenever this guy lifts his head, so that's another um, new aspect with this update, was that not a long shot? Hopefully that'll help to bring him down. So. Deer don't lift, or any species really, don't lift their head when drinking now. And that actually means it's going to be easier to shoot more animals in a drink zone. Because if you shoot when an animal's head's up, they more quickly go into the fleeing state. But because their heads are always down now, there's a much longer time frame until they actually go to flee. So it actually, that update also makes the AR, ARs a little more OP, I guess you could call it. Those will be two long shots, I am confident of that. Will you ever take a great one with a shotgun? Someday that might be a thing. I'm not even sure. <laughs> the the Red Deer great one I was hoping to have did. Oh, there's that guy. Uh, long before now, and that has not happened. So I'm starting to consider using a different weapon than I had originally planned. Just because kind of what I wanted to do has already been done. I'll lend you the 22250. I think I gotta use Buckshot. It's in, it's in a weird area. Or Birdshot if I get really close. I don't know that's a good idea. Have you gotten out today? Oh, goodness, I woke the pup doing that. Uh, really warm, probably in the 60s. It is 57, and yeah, I went for a long walk this morning. Uh, got out of the trail camera cards, moved the trail camera, took Shadow out. Probably walked for like an hour, and then I was out playing fetch with her. Actually, I lunched outside today. That was my favorite part of the day. Oh, got one spawn back there. That's a decent one. These small lakes. It's funny, like, the big lakes. Oh, Satisfying. The big lakes were the spots on Quattro before for Red Deer. Now they're not that great. The small lakes are really where it's at. I dare you to take the great one with the 10 gauge and buckshot when you find one. Is that ethical? It might be. Could trap it then pop it with the 22 mag? I don't want to trap it. I'd, I'd prefer to try to call it in. I think that'd be cool. Oi, he drop shot. It felt like an oi kind of moment. Is an albino diamond coyote rare? Of course. They must add rocket launchers for some of these areas with red deer. It would speed up the process. I have to do a COVID test. Let's hope I don't have it. Fingers crossed for you, man. Are Ibex drink zones the same? I don't know. I, I don't think they are. Uh, because red deer now drink from 6.30 to 10 or, or 6 to 10.30, something like that. And I haven't seen any Ibex while hunting them. And the old Ibex zones were 8 to 11. You'd think I would have encountered one. Uh, we'll check some Ibex lakes 
here a little bit later just to see. Maybe I've been missing it. What animals do you not have diamonds of? I've got a diamond of everything in the game at the moment. Um, I do not have a great one red deer. That would be about the only thing I'm really missing. I'm trying to think of if there's anything else. I mean, there's rares that I don't have, but that's about it. Did someone ask if I like fishing? Oh yes, I see that now. Um, I actually, I just bought a fly reel yesterday. I, I have one somewhere, but I can't find it. And I want to go fly fishing while it's nice out here. Uh, we've got a creek in the front yard. I don't know how to fly fish extremely well, but what a perfect opportunity to, to learn. Less, uh, you know, brush and stuff to maybe catch the line or the fly while I'm trying to cast. So that's my plan. Try to get out a little more this year. What gun is the most challenging to use for you? That's a good question. Hmm. The 470 tends to present a good bit of challenge. Often when I use that, I do find myself struggling a bit more to get good shots. Up. Where were those guys at? We're going to delete so ones here. Oh boy. Worth it, I guess. I don't know. Might not have been a good idea. Got that one. Okay. That's going to be a whole lot of hunt pressure. How many diamonds do you have? That also is a good question. I don't know the answer to that currently. Not like that. Uh, 864. So I know the number's off. Um, there was about a month where the game was counting golds as diamonds for some reason. And fortunately, I knew what my diamond count was. Like, the update happened the day after a stream in which somebody had asked me how many diamonds I had. So I had it up on screen. I went back. I found that. And... Fortunately, they also told us when the update was going to be to fix it. So I basically knew what my diamond count was, and I intentionally got enough golds to put it exactly 300 above what it should have been. So now it's easy to remember. My maps are screwed. Dude, it's... I'm telling you, the temptation to just shoot all the red deer or all the musk deer, whatever you're after, it's, it's too real. <laughs> when they're there and you've got a gun like this, it just kind of has to happen. What great one do you hope is next? By the way, you're my favorite YouTuber. Well, I'm honored, man. What great one do I hope is next? I think Mule Deer would be an awesome great one. I've said this before. If there's a species that exists that does not need to be exaggerated for a great one, it's Mule Deer. I mean, you look at some of the record non-typical Mule Deer. They are just incredible. Like, they could basically copy them and just say, there's your great one, Mule Deer, and I'd be stoked. The great one counter? Is there one I didn't notice? Great one. Oh yeah, I have 19. Holy! <laughs> I have one, actually. So clearly that's broken. You know what I wish they would do? And I know some people are gonna do it incorrectly. But I think they should just give you a little pop-up box. How many great ones have you shot? Enter that. And then it gives you your counter from there. Because clearly... I must have shot 18 diamonds in that month where it was counting golds as diamonds because they originally tried to institute a great one counter then and it was all screwed up. They took out the decimal on the waypoint yet. Yeah, I think they were just cleaning it up. Like it was kind of unnecessary though. I do miss like watching those decimals kind of make a countdown quicker. I think it just made it feel like you're running faster and covering more ground. How much will the pack be? Weapon packs are always $3.99. I'm late when I miss nothing crazy. Probably just shot, oh, I don't know, two, three, four, maybe six or seven red deer at this lake. And a couple others at some other spots. Do you have any tips on turkey hunting and goose hunting? I've got a goose guide on the channel if you want to check out that. For turkey hunting tips, I mean, quite honestly, it depends on the species of turkey. Merriam turkeys on Silver Ridge Peaks drink. They're the only turkeys that have any uh, drink zone. You can go and hunt them between the hours of 1500 and 1600, and it's insane. You can find so many birds. Um, I just shot seven in my first test at one lake with the 22 AR. So uh, if that gives you any idea of how crazy that can be. The other turkeys, they don't drink. They're just kind of, they have their feed times where you can find them out in the open. And that's about the best I can recommend. Hunt areas that are open and, and try to spot them in the distance. Oh, 
Honestly, bottom boy, I was worried about the same thing, and I wanted to check my map more thoroughly. I think the, yeah, I did do one final run uh, the day before the early access for the content creators started, and I shot stuff, so there well could have been one that respawned, who knows. I just kind of accepted, like, you know what? It's gonna be fresh spawns, is what it is. If one's there and I lose out on it, hopefully I can get another one to show up eventually, because it's just, it's too much mentally to sit there and be like, I could have, I could have lost one, it could have been there. What if, what if, what if? Hmm. I don't like the next shots now, because the ARs are, they do shoot a little tiny bit right. Unless it's like a perfect, perfect angle, I don't like to take. I'm gonna see if I can get him alert. Wherever he, what's that, I lost him there. I don't even understand how he hadn't spawned in. Am I blind? I did spot him. Hello? Oh. Okay. That's what we're looking for. As long as I can see where his antlers are at. I think I can make a determination on where the lungs are. Maybe. Maybe not. Got him at two then. Might have to check that out, bottom boy. Uh, how much are the ARs going to cost? So the DLC is $3.99. The weapons themselves in game are free, like they don't, they don't cost any cash. Oh boy, we got some stag spawning up here now. That's gonna be intriguing. So initially, I think I had one. We've got at least three. It's kind of a cool looking one. I thought I may have seen a fourth. Oh boy, and a fifth. All right. Something in the top right lake's gonna repopulate. It feels that way. Excited for release? I am, man. Um, perhaps you heard me just saying that. It looks like the top right lake still may be one of the best. It just takes time for stags to spawn there. I'm gonna have at least five on this run at the top right. Would you rather have an albino diamond lion or a small rack great one? I take the lion. Oh, there's red deer number six at the top right lake, and seven. Yeah, I'd say this lake is gonna be probably about as good as ever once it has time for stuff to respawn. What's up, corpse? I don't know if that's going to scoot into a lung. I'm, I'm hopeful. It did. I saw the health going down. I'll, I'll still stand by Tay being better, though. I just don't care for hunting at night. I don't want to shoot a mellow or something and not know it or anything like that. I like my daylight zones. Should I keep going for the great one or wait for the update? If you've been grinding for a while, I would at least, you know, try your best one last time to do a couple more runs tonight if you get the chance. If you really haven't messed with it yet, I, I would just wait. Geese when they aren't broken? Well, tomorrow they are going to be fixed. What do you think is the best place for hunting a whitetail? Uh, Rancho would be, but they aren't going to be as crazy on Rancho as they used to be. I have not messed with it. I think Scarecrow did, right? Maybe he has more info on that than I would. What's the biggest nine legendary red deer you've got? I shot a 267.6 or something like that, I think is my best. I don't know if I said hi yet, JW. I've been seeing you talking in chat. I think I did. I hope so. KC got his on Quattro, but Crow got one on Tay. I know Mel got one on Quattro. Kyla got hers on Quattro. It, I mean, in terms of the amount of stags you can kill per hour, Tay is probably the best. I just don't like hunting at night. That's literally what it comes down to. Like, I'm, I'm not trying to claim that Quattro is the best map to hunt them on. I do think in terms of being able to see, uh, that helps. But once you have the zones down on Tay, like if you understand where they're going to be, that's... The daylight doesn't help you as much, I guess what I'm getting at. Get 15 an hour on Tay. I usually end up more like 35 or 40 in an hour on Quattro. It ain't much different. Might alert that guy. I don't like the angle he's at. 
You know, this is the biggest case for carrying the 22 Virant over the 22 AR. The 22 AR's ladder. There's no 22 strat, and if you don't know what I mean by that, shooting near an animal with the 22 Virant only alerts them. Obviously, you don't want to hit them, but if you just shoot near them, they go alert. If you shoot near an animal with the 22 AR, they will actually flee. Sometimes alerting animals can be very useful for getting a better angle on your shot. I'm kind of wondering if I'm going to end up not carrying the 22 AR. I like it a lot. It's a lot of fun, but that one little aspect makes the Virant so, so valuable, especially with this. Like, you know, red deer don't lift their heads anymore when they drink. A lot of species don't. Um, that matters. How do I say your name? Is it Pask? I hope I got that right. Thanks for all the content. You inspired me. Well, thank you, man. Thank you for the super chat, and I'm glad to uh, be making the content. I, I enjoy this so much. It's always been kind of a dream of mine. Dream come true in a way. If we can just get ourselves in this little gap. How often do we do all this to shoot a level 3 red deer? Okay. Back to speediness. I'll carry the 22 pistol for the 22 trick. Try not to, it depends on the map I hunt. That could work for certain loadouts. I, I don't like to carry five weapons and usually most of my loadouts I carry four. That might be a decent option. Then again, like if you gotta do 22 strat at 350, that's a little tougher with the pistol. Not, not impossible. What did you do here? End up scoring IRL? So I got it officially scored the other day. Uh, it came out to 171 and 38 net non-typical. The gross score was still like 179 after the two month drying period. So when my brother and I scored it at 180 gross, I believe that was correct. And therefore for me, it's a PA 180. But the cool thing about it is it's just inside the top 200 whitetail ever shot in PA uh, over all the years. I'm sure it would be outside the top 200 because there's certainly some that haven't been scored. But in terms of ones that have been scored, um, it should be number 198, I think, in this state ever. Joe won indeed. Uh, maybe the air gun would only alert them. The air gun does, yeah. That could work. Where's that level 3 at? There should have been one other one around here somewhere. Is there going to be an IRL video for your buck? I really need to make a video and just explain all that one of these days. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah, new content, maybe more important. Anyway, uh, there is going to be. We've been working with a television network, Wild TV, and this summer the episode should air um, on their TV network. That said, after they air on TV, I'm not exactly sure how far afterwards, but they are going to be on YouTube as well. They'll be on my channel, they'll be on the Me Hunters channel, um, so you'll still be able to watch them on YouTube if you don't have Wild TV. And they have a streaming service. You can watch it that way in the States, but they're kind of like Canada's Outdoor Channel, if you're familiar with the Outdoor Channel. And they also air in Europe. I don't know, like say if you got Dish or DirecTV or whatever, I don't know if you can just get Wild TV in the States. I have to look into that. That's honestly the reason that I have not made that video as for like kind of explaining when the the uh, buck video will be out do you have a rare or blue diamond bobcat I do not I've got a number of diamond bobcats never had a blue one they're rare now with this update I do believe uh, and yeah I've had like brown tan red Never, never any rares. Will it be on the Meat Hunters channel? Yes. Got a big ol' bobcat coming in. 9 plus number 5. It's gonna be an 8.9999. Shut my 16th diamond today. 193, but is nice, man. I do also believe they're a rare now. Shot one a couple of days ago. Are they? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That wasn't this update that did that. Sorry. That would be correct, I think. Wolf tracks. All right, fairly convinced. The only other red deer there is that female, so let's go up here. Boy, I feel so much less efficient trying to learn where the red deer are at the moment. 
The 308 looks realistic in its power. I use it in real life. Moose dropper go 20. And what caliber? And bullet. Are you asking what caliber and bullet I use in real life? That's always the tough part, by the way, about comparing weapons in game to real life. There's a mythical. Like, there's arguments about, you know, the 308 shouldn't be more powerful than the 30 out 6, or, or vice versa. It depends on the load. Like, EW could very easily claim, like, no, nah, we went with a, a more powerful load here for X, Y, and Z reason. Not that they really have to, you know, they, they can choose to do whatever they want, but that could be their reasoning if they wanted it to be. Is that a stag? Nah, it's a just kind of red ink color, hun. Have you ever seen or shot any IRL rares? I've been close. Um, I have seen one piebald, a white tail doe that was on my dad's property. I could have shot it when it was a yearling. Um, I had no intentions of doing that. We weren't, like, we were pretty confident it was a female deer, but we weren't 100% sure that it wasn't going to be a buck. And I wouldn't have shot it, even had I been 100% sure that it was a female deer. Like, as much as it would have been cool to have a piebald deer, like, I'd, I'd prefer to have, like, the fair chase aspect. To me, I'm not against, like, anybody shooting a, a younger deer. Like, I know some people do it for the meat quality or whatever, but I just think the concept of fair chase, at least for me, like, I could shoot, I could fill all my tags on fawns in, like, a week. <laughs> That's just not as difficult. So, after that, um, my dad and my brother wouldn't have wanted to pay to get it mounted. I was going to. So, they didn't shoot it. They both saw it in rifle season as an adult, though. I never did. I never got an opportunity beyond that. I think I saw it once as a year and a half old in archery season, but it was like 75 yards away. Uh... I've also seen one albino doe and I think four albino fawns, never while hunting and not on my dad's land. Can you play online now? Even if I did, none of you would be able to join my game. Uh, this is a separate build from the current release. When the update comes out tomorrow, everybody will be on the same uh, thing again. Saw a mela doe, that's pretty cool. Uncle, that's an albino buck on his property. Out of curiosity, because some states, you can't shoot albinos. They're considered... Uh, protected might be the best word to, to use. Piebald is the disease and bad for them. Uh, is it? I don't think it is. That particular deer lived to be two and a half, and somebody around here shot it. Well, around my dad's. We did have a white feathered turkey as well, bottom boy. I think I told that story. Um, apparently, a tame one got out. It looked like a hybrid between a wild and a tame one, so it probably would have been perfectly fine to shoot, but I'm pretty sure a coyote or a fox got it. What's up, David? Out fishing all day with no luck? That sounds like my kind of fishing luck. I'd still say a day fishing with no luck is better than a day working or doing something else that's less fun. All right, let's get down to, let's check here actually, this is a good spot. A new good spot, in fact. Nice, Tyler. The deer population is so low in Vermont that I've never seen or heard of any rare deer. Have seen an albino turkey though? Yeah, that definitely, that definitely matters, the amount of deer in an area, like the more deer around, I would assume the better the odds that one shows up. Look at this. Three stags all there. Often there are more. Yeah, fourth stag. Sometimes there's some down on that end. Four minimum, maybe more. Let's see what we can do with the uh, 308 here. I turkey hunt ineffectively. <laughs> Speaking of that, we gotta figure out if we're going somewhere. Did it flee when we got in the stand? Must be wolves over there. All right, this is gonna mess with things a little bit. Jeez, oh, I don't even know where they went. Okay. A hard shot, I guess. Where'd they go? I'm sure the wolves spooked them. But what direction? Maybe that way? Well, that's annoying. That guy's even attentive still. Oh, hello. Ah, 
hit that high. I needed to get the shot underneath that branch and unfortunately could not. Oh, yeah. How are the ARs treating me? They've been good. I've been enjoying them. I did actually think the 308 was going to be more powerful than it seems to be. I don't necessarily think that's bad. Is that guy going down? Yeah. Well, I think we got three out of the four. A leucistic bug? I never know, like... Because some people will claim a leucistic is, like, anything that's mostly albino, but not fully albino. Some people say that's not what that is. I have no idea. I'm Forrest. Thanks for becoming a channel member, by the way. Appreciate you. Uh, if you're not in the Discord already, be sure to join that. Link up your YouTube, get that member roll, and all that good stuff comes along with that. Enjoy the green name and emojis in chat. And Varner, thank you for the super chat. Do you know what the update size is for Steam? Uh, I don't know if it'll end up being the same as like what I had to download, to be completely honest. I guess we haven't go back and shoot all them yet. Um, I think it was like 25 gigs for me, but it, it could end up being bigger. I, I don't know what it'll be. Are the geese fixed? They're going to be with the update tomorrow. What is your dream animal to hunt in real life? So when I'm asked that question, I look at it as like a dream hunt that I don't think I could just make happen by myself. Like elk would be up there as a dream animal for me, but I believe I can make that happen, you know, with preference points or through whatever manner um, I could end up doing that. Caribou in Alaska, I feel like I would need a guide and, and stuff like that. So I think that's my official answer for a dream hunt. Sweet. We get all three? Nice. All right, now we get to claim for a half hour. Guess it didn't have the pink nose or red eyes. Heard it escape from a deer farm, ended up breeding with the doe and producing another one. I've heard some interesting stuff about like how rare deer end up being produced. I've heard that it has to be like a doe has been bred at least seven times, which would mean it has to be older. Um, I've heard like it, the, uh, the albinos don't have any higher chance of producing another albino. I've heard they do have a better chance. All kinds of stuff. Shooting with Alfie, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate you. Big smoked. What's your biggest whitetail in real life? Well, I call it a 180 inch deer. Um, the gross score, the gross green score at the time I shot it was a little over 180, 180 and 6 eighths. I just had it officially scored and the net non-typical, which of course accounts for deductions where the gross score doesn't, was 171 and 3 eighths. Have you ever seen a drop time bug? Uh, no. My buck had four stickers, but the none of which were drop times. They were all kind of splits off of the G2s and 3s. Uh, that's Max Deacon. Oh, yes. What caliber and bullet to use? I use a Seiko Powerblade Cobber in 308. I use a 7mm Odd 8. Um, I'd have to look and see. Do I have the bullet box here? I don't remember. Did I run past that stag? No, I picked it up. I don't even remember what... Uh, green bullets they are. They're Remington. Uh, green and yellow box, if you're familiar with Paul Harrell, but I don't I don't even know what um, what size. Do you have an IRL video of your big buck? It has not been posted. I did film it, and while it was close-ish to dark when I shot it, it's probably the best filming job that I've done of any of the deer that I've shot. Self-filming, anyway. That'll be another one down here somewhere. Let's just get Sir 12 to help us out. Are the icons bigger for the dogs? Those of you that are uh, maybe playing on the current build could help me out. I swear they're bigger, which I think looks good. Where'd he go? All right, lost my dog for a minute. Hey, what's up, Gavin? Congrats on your uh, great one red deer now, by the way. I think the last two times I've seen you, I've been congratulating you on great ones. It's all genetic, but because it's a mutation, it's not like you can make albino deer go, go extinct, so it makes no sense why some states don't allow you to shoot them. I think it's a um, native tradition. There, There's a, if I remember correctly, and I don't know which tribe or whatever, but there was like a chief or something that said like the, 
I don't know if it was the world we're in, will end, but something to the effect of, like, man will die out when the last white deer is killed, or when the last white deer dies. Who knows? I think I think it's along those lines. 308 drop a red deer quicker than the 300? No. The 300 is much, much quicker uh, for how, how it kills them. 308 can kill more um, because of the semi-automatic capability and the low recoil amount. Seems that way. Send me your luck, I need it. I'm tired of my grind. Even though I'm just restarting brick money, thank you for the super jet. Do you know what time the pack will come out? Normally, uh, it's earlier in the day Eastern time. So like say, who knows, 7, 8 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, kind of two or three in the afternoon in Europe. I think it's real early on the West Coast US. I could have it. All right, awesome. I'll, I'll uh, put it to good use. What does the 12 stand for? To make a very long story short, one of my youngest moderators on Discord back in the day, just to, you know, joke around, we would say he was 12 um, because he was the youngest. The reason? The Discord Terms of Service requires you to be 13 to have an account. Now, he was not 12. He was, I think, 16 or something at the time. But... Somebody reported him for being 12, I think because they didn't like him or something, and he actually got his account banned. So it's kind of just a meme based off all that. Hey, Jordan, what's going on, man? Thank you so much for the super chat. Far too kind. Been missing the streams lately, hope all is well. It is, man. We've got a uh, sleepy puppy at the moment. It's been been wild. I'm trying to keep up with things. This is the most well-behaved she's been on a stream in a week or so, actually. Big dono. Got my first ever diamond last night on SRP. That's a good map to get a first one on, I will say. Your loadout video for 2022 was so helpful. I have three diamonds now. Awesome, man. I'm glad it's helped. I uh, I don't know if I'm going to have to make an amendment to that video with 308. Um, I don't know that the 223 or 22 ARs would necessarily change that. I also, if I remember correctly, I used basically all base game weapons. So maybe I can leave it as is and do a DLC one. Still haven't fixed the double blood hit bug. Uh, you're talking about like if you hit it once in the vitals and then once in the flesh, it's going to show vital blood twice. Have you checked if Rare still scored the top of their estimate? I have not. I shot a melanistic though uh, as my first video on this uh, this update. So we should be able to go and find out. There's another one dead around here somewhere, I swear. I don't remember where it was, but I'm pretty sure there's one around. Been missing you. Far too kind, Jordan. What's the range on the AR? So it says the effective range is 150 like it does for a lot of rifles. They zero the same, uh, 75, 150, and 300. And the bullet drop seems to be comparable to the M1. When I've shot like 340, 350 meters, I aim as I would if I'm using the M1 and I seem to have the same results as I would expect. What's up, Danny? Missed anything? Nothing crazy. Just been trying to learn where red deer are, check out some of the new spots. This area is insane, by the way. I don't know if you're doing a red deer grind at any point, but it is quite good. Are there two ammos for the 22 long rifle? Uh, so there was something... I don't remember exactly what the deal was, but they had like a, a 22 LR ammo loaded in the AR-15 in the reveal video, the first one. But then that's not actually a thing. I, I don't know if it's ever going to be a thing. Maybe they're going to do that. What's up, Billy? Do dogs scare animals? They can, but they have to get really close. Like, one thing that I'll have happen fairly frequently is... If I'm rabbit hunting? Rabbits, for some reason, only flee about, say, 10 or 15 meters and they stand there still. My dog will get out in front of me and spook them before I can get a shot off. Really, unless it's within, you know, 5 or 10 meters, they don't tend to spook them. And for just about any species other than rabbits, that's not something you gotta worry about. Oh, this is that female. What are we doing? Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go down here. These lakes have been quite good for me as well. Uh, Ryan K, thank you for the super chat. I don't know why that alert... There it is, hadn't come up yet. I lost my Red Deer Great one the other day and I'm too lazy to go look for it. Uh, what map? Because if it was on Quattro Cleanas, there's a pop reset happening tomorrow morning. I would uh, 
I'd recommend getting in there and finding it before that happens. Let's see. Sometimes, yeah, there they are. We get that shot off before uh, Han gets before, before, in front of, before, in front of, same thing. And then there's gonna be some right here. I need to move that tent. Uh, let's actually do that while we're at it. Danny is super smart. Yes. Dean's this smart. Holy. What time do they come out on PS4? I'm hoping, like I was saying earlier, like, usually morning-ish, Eastern time zone, and uh, sometime early afternoon in Europe, but that doesn't always uh, tend to be the case. I guess we're going to have to get around that tree. Are you going to make a new guy tomorrow or one of these days? I don't know. I don't know what I'm making a guide on necessarily. I definitely want to compare the 308 to the M1 and such. That felt like different recoil than we're used to. But anyway, yeah, maybe I'll do a guide on kind of like where the red deer seems to be now. They're all just coming out of the trees. It's like nine o'clock. It's after nine o'clock. I don't know what they're so late for. Are the 22s just different platforms and reduced ammo? What do you mean by reduced ammo? I'm not quite sure I'm following you there, but it's essentially the same rifle, but a AR uh, platform instead of the, well, it was semi-automatic, but um, instead of the normal AR that we had. Have you heard about the Moose Great One? I've heard no things about a Moose Great One. I don't know where to put a tent would make it the most effective somewhere in this general area I guess oh boy how do we do this probably if we can I can't even spot the one I want there we go okay oh my goodness what a bodyguard that is 12 out of 12 bodyguarding let's hit it twice if we can It'll bring it down anyway. So, tent, I guess, is gonna go somewhere up here on the flat. We'll do a tripod, wherever we can get it. Hopefully that'll kinda allow us to see all around the lake. Might have to adjust it a little bit, but that should at least give us a starting point here. How does a 308 do on gators? We did try it during that stream. It did pretty well. I kept on making brain shots, though. Like, I, I didn't get a lot of chances to lung shot. To be honest, uh, how rare is an albino whitetail buck in Call to Out? Pretty rare. Wouldn't say you see a ton of them. I like the animations, Nils. I think they did a good job. Is the red dot sight fixed? Uh, I've not messed with it. I don't know. Do I like the nice weather in PA today? It was such a blast. I, um,. I went around, got all the trail camera cards, checked all them today, went for like an hour walk with the dog, ate lunch outside, it is just so nice out. I'm hoping to go fishing tomorrow, but I think it's supposed to rain. Lovely indeed. Uh, I, I got a look at the melanistic that I shot on for us. I didn't pay attention to the estimates, I was too in shock that I had an initial spawn melon. It's better, but the dot is still massive. That's kind of unfortunate. It's not something I would personally use, but I know a lot of people would want to use it if it was actually better. What 7mm rifle did you purchase? When I made the beginner series, uh, they only had the one variation on, on PC. It, it doesn't matter. Um, they are the same as far as how effective they are. I don't even... The Regent Magnum, I think, is what the PC one's called. Are level 5 piebald reindeer one of the more common super rares? I do think piebald reindeer are reasonably common. Um, but I think there are a number of super rares that you'd see more. Piebald diamond axes here are probably at the top of the list. I have two of those that I don't really count as super rares. Gonna be looking like Atlantis, I bet. Hope you don't have any more cameras that are gonna get drowned. Do they have rarity mods for the game? I'm not sure I know what you mean by that. 
My favorite video you ever made was the 22 versus K Buffalo. I want to do more stuff like that. I need to get a bunch of people together again. I think 308s versus Herds of Wildebeest might be so much fun. They got made rare recently. The piebald axis here. I remember like there was an update. You told me that right after uh, right after it happened that the one I shot was legit. But I still don't think they're that rare. Like I see piebald axes here all the time. Unless you're saying in that most recent update they're more rare now? I can imagine, bottom boy. There's a couple areas where if I like step in a squishier area of the ground, I'm sticking it sinking in at like six inches, but there's nowhere where I'm worried about my cameras getting drowned. Could you twenty two versus gators in that spot where they can't go in deep water? Maybe. Get a bunch of guys with ARs there? That might work. Have you been access to your hunting in real life? I have not. That's something I'd like to do. Um, probably the one thing that I would hunt, like a ranch on Texas. On Texas? In Texas? Do you have any tips on what setting season called the wild to suffer less low FPS and not have very crappy graphics? What I did on my older PC is I messed with basically every setting. I don't remember exactly what I came up with, but, you know, I'd go through and maybe lower the shadow quality. Um, usually I'd leave texture resolution and fur quality up. Maybe lower volume fog. And, it, like, it says down here, low performance impact, medium. I turned down some of the stuff that had a higher performance impact, just, like, by one um, tier, and it seemed to help. I know, like, exotic game ranches. It's a weird, like, I don't know, it depends on how you're approaching it I guess like if I can get to Hawaii and hunt access to you there that would be my preference but that would be a much bigger investment and stuff like as far as just being able to hunt access to your anywhere Texas is probably the way to do that and you can hunt them I believe um free range there's definitely public land in Texas and there's a fair number of exotics that have escaped over the years but it's not like that's an easy thing to do, it's just find a, a random exotic. Well, to my knowledge, it's not. What maps are getting changed? Uh, Quattro, Verhunga, Rancho, and Mississippi. Where in PA do you live? Like, West Central. Thanks, Sir 12. It be nap time? I could, I could use the nap. A sun nap. Hang up my hammock. That's the move. Uh, Tommy, thanks for the super chat. Ever thought about spot and stock hunting out west? I don't know that pronghorn with a rifle counts as spot and stock, but uh, that is a hunt that I'm planning on trying to make happen this year. Stream is popping today. Chat's going pretty quick. It's been a while since I've seen it flying that fast. Hawaii is nuts with axes here, as I understand it, Joe. Maybe one day. I kind of forget what we've shot, what we uh, have claimed. I'm just gonna keep on moving, hope for the best. Gonna buy another Bloodhound, what should I name it? Mm. I can't think of a 12 name, to be honest. Uh, me have no name, thanks for the super chat. Love the vids, thank you, man. Uh, how will the maps change for the people tuning in? Basically, they're doing a population reset and a population redistribution. So, the reset means every animal on your map is going to be gone and replaced with new ones. So, for instance, like, if you got to see my first uh, hunt with the AR-308, there was a Melanin 6 tag on my map. There was no Melanin tag when the reset happened. That that was a fresh respawn. Or, re, you know, respawn, not the, a fresh spawn, I should call it. The redistribution moves animals around, so like when I started on Quattro, I had no stags at the top right. But as I've shot them, they've kind of migrated back up there some. Also, some zone times are changing. So, for instance, the Red Deer on Quattro used to drink 5 to 9. Now they're currently drinking 6 to 10.30. Or 6.30 to 10, one of the two. Big meal. Are the new ARs just for PC? Nah, all, all platforms are getting them 
uh, tomorrow. Where'd it go? Sir 12, help. Oh wait, was it coming back? No. Oh. It's dead. I know that much. Am I too far away? Come on, man. Help me out of here. Alright, now we're going back. Was he laying back here? Am I dumb? He may well... I might have ran right past him reading... Oh yeah. Wow. Alright. Do you prefer a diamond Mexican bobcat or a diamond brown hybrid goose? Um... I don't know that I necessarily have a preference, but... Probably the brown hybrid goose since I don't have one. Should red deer grind Teoroa? I just don't like hunting at night. I just like to be able to see what I'm working with. Bunch of hinds. There should be some stags here. I don't know where they're going to be, but they should be at this lake somewhere. We may have to move to the side to get them to spawn in. In which case, maybe I need to move my tent. Maybe we can do that while we're here. Can I pick up this tripod? Good. Sometimes, like, the old tripods that I placed were a different camo variation than the ones that I have now. And you can carry as many of the same variation of anything as you want. Like, I've got, like, 12 camo tents right now. Um, but you cannot carry two different color tents. It's weird. Well, you can if you have the space, I guess. Where's Shadow go? I didn't even know she got up from the bed. Is this bad for a great one grind? Probably is good. Um, it depends on how you look at it. I've kind of explained my perspective. Like, if I couldn't get it over 4,000 kills and whatever it was, a couple of months, maybe a reset's just gonna help me out. I don't know. Certain texts. Wait, what? Something to do with Texas teaming with free range axes is, is. Was that like a county or a town or an area that was autocorrected, maybe? Do you have a melanistic diamond goose? I've got a couple of melon goose. I've got a couple of diamond goose. No melanistic diamond goose. Do you watch Flair? I, I don't really. Um, nothing against the guy. I, I generally think he is probably good for like the hunting content world, but I'm not a fan of that like style of content, personally. Like I said, nothing against him. Uh, where have my tripods gone? I guess I placed them all at one point. Didn't even know I did that. Okay. Any day now. Slope is too steep. When does the pop reset, do zones reset as well, or do the animals just switch places? Uh, a little bit of both. Some zones will reset, you'll get animals in uh, different areas of the same lake perhaps. Some are going to be in the exact same spot, some will have moved entirely. But there's also a redistribution, so like Quattro is very, very different. Some of the old, you know, reliable spots still have red deer, but also they are in some very new places. There were two stags, right? Oh, perfectly hidden by a tree. That's what we're looking for. Well, <laughs> that ain't gonna work real good. Whenever he decides to let us smoke him. Actually, we got along. Painting a reproduction brown trout. 30 inches, that's a big one. Um, so, I'm curious, is it like a full reproduction? I believe if uh, if someone wants like, to get a fish mounted, it is, like the head is real, but the rest is reproduction, is that correct? People still manage to spam even during slow mode. You gotta, gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Reading is hard. Should do a vid where you kill every animal with a certain gun. There's a lot of species in Call of the Wild. I've thought about doing something like that, but I don't know, maybe the uh, drilling combo gun or the 10 gauge, where you're able to cover literally every animal uh, animal class. Like it, 
I don't know, I don't, I don't want to shoot every animal with the 308 AR, for instance, because animals classes 1 through 3 and class 9 aren't going to be ethical. When are you going on Mississippi again? Uh, I imagine we'll get on there sometime soon. We went out there on Friday's Twitch stream where we kind of first got to test the ARs. Shot some raccoons, shot some gators. I don't think we had anything special. A bunch of mythical gators, if I recall. I don't think there was any diamonds or rares, though. Anything good so far today? Nothing to speak of. A couple of nice sized stags. Uh, we're just coming to the end of our first run. It's uh, 1021. Might try to get to one last spot if we can. Got to track down these couple of guys. I'm really in need of Sir 12's help today. Struggling to keep up with tracks. Killing every animal in Call of Wild with the AR? I think that might get tough when uh, Cape Buffalo and Water Buffalo and stuff come up. So glad you're streaming again. It's nice to be back on the normal schedule. We've been at it for, I don't know, a month and a half or so, but it was kind of unfortunate missing out on some of the Wednesday and Sunday streams during hunting season. Not that that didn't work out, but... Uh, what do you think the next map will be? People are saying Australia. I'm hoping for Africa. I feel like we're due for another Africa map. Um, for Hunga released in August of 2018. Now, I don't remember it being delayed, but I believe it was probably a little bit late. They've been on a schedule of basically June and December every year. Uh, and actually, Parquet came out in December of that year. So um, I'm thinking they wanted a June release. Therefore, it would be four years when the next map's due to come out, which should be in June of this year. How did I... No, I did make that jump. I don't know what stopped us. Uh, it's all fiberglass. Use epoxy to smooth the edges. I'm Newton 13. My dad won best attacks on me show last year. That's awesome, dude. I I never know what I want to do with fish. So, um, if that's the case, I, I'm sure you try to, like, in reproducing a fish, you try to get it very accurate. If I had caught, like, a I don't know. Say I caught a 30 inch brown trout since that's what you're going with. If I just took a picture of it and then I went to a fish taxidermist and I'm like, hey, can I get like this mounted but I, I caught and released it because I didn't want to kill it? Is that a thing? Because I, I'm i not a huge fan of like trout and stuff eating wise. So I'd hate to catch a trophy trout like that and then kill it specifically to get it mounted. I, I don't I don't follow with Jack Frost. Does each preserve have a separate great one red deer, or is the red deer count accumulative and only one great one per grind? Yeah, uh, mm, they're all separate populations, so Oh, that's awesome, and that works. Most people do that. I'm gonna start paying attention if I ever catch a thick fish, get some measurements and go with that. Anyway, um in theory, it should be possible for you to have a red deer on all maps, a great one red deer on all maps that have red deer. Likely that wouldn't happen because of the rarity of them spawning, but like, I don't think your Hirschfeld and red deer population affects your Quattro population or anything like that. Think you just get measurements in picture? I'm going to start doing that. I think mounted fish look cool, but like I said, I, I'd hate to kill one just for the sake of getting it mounted and not actually eating it. There's, I mentioned earlier in the stream, there's a coyote around here that it ha it's hanging out in an area that I think fawns are likely to be born. It's kind of like perfect cover. Um, it's also been close enough to the house on a number of occasions between trail camera photos and tracks that I don't really like that with having a new puppy, so I'm, I'm probably obliged, I guess, to try to get it. Oh, what's uh, I bet ring time now? Let's see. 1030 to 1400. That's going to make Quattro a lot more huntable later into the afternoon. Anyway, to, to get back on topic. Coyotes, I don't know that I would eat one, but it's also one of those things where it's like trying to protect the deer herd and my dog. That was a terrible shot. Try it again. Hopefully. I thought that one should have hit. There we go. Alright, yeah, that'll take some track. I'm gonna bring him down. 
let Shadow fight at 1v1. I think she needs to get a little bigger first. Slippery, thanks for the super chat. What do you think of adding a travel zone? You could get the roaming like classic and make feed rest zones more feasible to hunt. I like that idea. So maybe this is what you're saying and maybe I can expand on it. One of the, you know, major aspects to say archery hunting in real life, that would be one of the better examples, is understanding where deer tend to travel. So you look for, you know, trails and stuff like that to set up on. In fact, the, the reason that we ever had the trail camera in the place that it was to capture the buck that I ended up shooting was because of finding footprints. So, it, like, we have the tracks, obviously, but if there was, like, a specific indication of a deer trail or a game trail, and if they consistently use that area, it might be kind of... I don't know, I'd be worried that it would be exploitable. But that could be kind of neat. Only good coyote is the dead coyote. His days are numbered. I haven't got out there just all willy-nilly just yet trying to kill him, because I think if I can call him in once and be ready, it'll be all good. But if he kind of catches on that, you know, maybe not every call is something he should respond to and stuff, it's going to be a lot tougher to get him. So I'm trying to come up with a perfect plan, and I do actually, to really circle that conversation back, I would like to get him mounted, I think, because it's got a pretty nice coat. So, the other side of it is, I don't really want to use my 7mm Mod 8, because that'll blow a pretty sizable hole in a coyote. I'm questioning Buckshot, because that's a lot of small holes, but I, I would think that'd be better than one big rifle hole. We'll see. Is a Yote uh, all your species here at least? There's literally no regulations on them, I think. Um, hunting them in deer rifle season or any big game season, they have to be shot in daylight. Other than that, you know, have at it basically. What rifle is your 7 out of 8? It is a Weatherby Vanguard. Do you know when we're getting the ARs tomorrow? How well do you think trail cams will work in this game? So, I think it was during the 24 hour stream. Um, one of my Discord moderators, Psycho Beagle, he is uh, a lot more familiar with like computers and software and like all that stuff. So, I asked him about it and he thought it would be pretty feasible to be able to add them. Because that would be the first thing. Like, can you actually place a trail camera? on a tree somewhere and then go on the other side of the map and have it actually be functional and he felt that it could be I think that could actually be a lot of fun and potentially very useful like you think about it something that for me and I'm sure for a lot of people something that could help a lot is like night zones if you could just leave it up overnight and then check it the next day might tell you if there's anything good hiding in your night zone uh, you can hunt them at night during deer season as long as you have a fur taker's license. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure they don't want you out during deer season because they don't want to have to investigate random shots at night. Pot roast. Holy. Holy. Alright, switch maps and switch back. Whoa! Attacking dog! That's what happens if you lay down. Good This is why we need a dog cam. Oh, <laughs> we need like a cot or something to lay on. So you we're switching me. maps basically to uh, get our red deer response to happen. Do you play Minecraft? Uh, I played on mobile many years ago. I, I've never played the PC version or whatever you call that. Let's check some spots on the river. Let's see if we can discover any red deers that heal though. Rancho Hard Shot Challenge? I had a heck of a time with the Turkey Hard Shot on SRP. Everything else, it was fine. I was hitting more than 50% of my hard shots that I attempted. And then came the Turkey, and I missed like 12 in a row, and I ended up hard shotting one with like the 243 or something. Death by Cute Doggo? What? It can't happen. If you lay on your back, she's just like, all right, I'm gonna try to gouge your eyes out. 
Rest gun on trees in Call of the Wild next update? That's how I shot my buck. Resting on a tree? Uh, it would be a neat idea. Add some stabilization. The thing is, the, the guns are pretty stable as is. Like, I don't know that it's needed. But it would be neat. Alright, nothing around here. Let's go to the other lodge then. Hi. The hard shot stream was fun. I had a blast with that one. That's something we'll have to do again. Not just a Valentine's Day thing. Could you do a guide of the new red deer in Quattro? I'll probably try to once I can figure them out. The thing about it is, they seem to kind of spawn in clusters in different areas, but as you shoot them and get respawns, they're kind of spreading out more, which is, I guess, good, but uh, I don't know. I kind of liked them where they were. Nice, Bryson. How do you rotate the tripod before placing it down? On PC, it's right click. I, I actually don't know how to do it on console. Kyla's job would be useless without you spanners, so keep at it. Spanners? Spammers? Should do a neck shot stream. With the way that animals don't lift their heads while drinking now, that might work well. Right or left trigger? I think it'd be left. I think right would be placed, right? Or maybe it's A. I don't know. Hoodie strings are the best of toys, don't you know? Yeah, and it clips you in the face and bites you. Mm-hmm. Great one, Texas Hard Shot. Uh, we were going to try that. I think Zaggy ended up doing it, so not a, unfortunately, no longer a super unique idea. You're such a spanner. I span many distance. I wish they had tracer ammo. They kind of have tracer arrows, but they're not as good as classics. I, uh, I saw a clip, though, of, like, a tracer arrow that kind of, uh... The flashes like the Call of the Wild ones did in real life. I never knew that was a thing. I thought all Tracer heroes were like a solid, um, solid color. I'm wanting to get a 3 inch chamber 12 gauge, but I'm also debating a 10 gauge just for the sake of having it. I need to get a new shotgun before turkey season. My, I've got my Paps old, uh, Remington, I think they're Model 1187 now, but used to be called Model 1100. They only take 2 and 3 quarter inch. Uh, shells, and I'd, I'd kind of like to get a little bigger, like three or three and a halfs. I have a pump that takes three and a halfs, but I can't figure it out. Something's up with that gun. Like, it does not hit consistently accurate. I'll shoot like crazy. You know, I, f I feel like I've got it sighted in, and then I go and shoot the next day, and it's like I can't even get 10 BBs on a target at 40 yards. It's just very, very inconsistent, and I don't know why. Can you get a 16 gauge, like, classic in real life? Are you asking if I can or if it's possible? Because it's definitely possible. I assume you're asking if I can, which... Eh, who knows. 12 gauge is by far the most common, that's for sure. Dad's got, um, reloading dies and stuff for... I think he has 410s, because we used to shoot 410s when we were younger. He definitely has 12 gauge. I don't know if he has 20 or 16, though. And reloading is definitely a nice way to save money. It's been an hour already? Time flies. It's been an hour and ten minutes. Sounds like something in the barrel. There's nothing in it. I mean, I've kept it clean. I've, uh... I've tried cleaning it. I've tried different ammo. Like, nothing makes any sense. And I know it's... I know it's not me because, like, I can shoot that 1100 fine. Um, I shoot a rifle fine. <laughs> Basically, anything I shoot normally, you know, I shoot pretty good. And then, with that gun, I'm like, <laughs> I can't hit anything. Now, it could be that maybe it was inaccurate, and I have just such a low trust factor with that gun that I'm flinching or something. I don't, I don't know, but I, I'm kind of thinking maybe just getting something else. I want to see if I can maybe put like a shotgun scope on it and just see if it's accurate, because the, uh, they're not called True Glow, that's what it's called in Call of the Wild, I think. Maybe it is True Glow. Whatever the fiber optic uh, sights are. Fiberglass, fiber... I don't know what I'm saying anymore. But, like, the, the little plastic red and green sights. The green on the end is cracked, but it's still in its little um, housing, so it, it shouldn't affect where it's at. 1187 should take 3-inch shells. That's what makes it not an 1100. Is that what the difference is? It's old. It's, it's an 1100, but I think the ones they manufacture now are 1187s. Great one, Black Buck or Wild Boar. 
Wait, why? You had to replace your barrel? Was your barrel like a uh, boat or something? Opinions on a polar bear map? Uh, we have one in in classic, White Rhyme Ridge. They're actually fun to hunt. I don't know that that would be the best thing for Call of the Wild, but I wouldn't necessarily complain if they did it. All right, let's go and check. Uh, can I go on the other side though? I guess from here would be about the best way to do it. What is the minimum weight for reindeer? As it might be 156 for males, I actually don't know. No, they can go lower than that. 130 something? 132? Whatever 156 minus uh, 26 is, I'm pretty sure. 130? That, that'd be pretty easy math. Arctic Tundra map with muskox? The only thing about muskox, they'd probably need to make them a little bit different than how they are in real life. Because as I understand it, muskox in real life don't really flee. If you get close, they just kind of huddle up. So it's not as difficult to get, you know, get a shot off on one. Uh, great one, mule deer? That's what I'm rooting for, to be honest. I think that would be really cool. 308 for gators. It does all right. Um, if you make a brain shot or whatever, obviously they, they instant drop, but I didn't get to test as many lung shots as I wanted. Shot a great one red deer and quattro before getting a diamond. That is insane. Hunting water buffalo with 243 soft point bullet? I don't I don't know. I don't like to hunt stuff with the incorrect caliber that often. 1100s and 1187s were made at the same time. 1187 just has three inch chamber and is heavier. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out like I don't know. It was um my dad has one. I think he has, maybe he has an 1187. And then I have my grandfather's, uh, it has to be a model 1100 because it does not take three inch shells. I swear I was told that like the newer ones are 1187s. M maybe uh, the originals are still 1100s, I don't know, but that's good info. Ooh, you made her mad now. What time is Red Deer drink time? Well, uh, it depends on the map you're on. Hirschfelden, Quattro Colinas, Parque Fernando at the moment all have a 5 to 9 a.m. drink time, and then Tay is 18 to 2100. With this upcoming update, at least on Quattro Colinas, Red Deer drink 6 to 10.30 or 6.30 to 10 or something. I have both on 1187 and 1100, both are only 2 and 3 quarter. Okay, now we have an argument going on. Is the price for the pack gonna be eight dollars? It should be four, uh, three ninety nine. Weapon packs are usually four bucks. Maps are eight. Oh, the barrels messed up in the factory. Is weapon pack three worth getting? Honestly, as new weapons get added, I would see weapon pack three is probably the most obsolete one. Uh, that includes the thirty out six, the twenty two and the 45 air rifle. The air rifle may be worth it. It's a really good roe deer and must deer grinding weapon. Wild child. See ya, huh? you see ya. Does the pack come out tomorrow? Yes. Bork? What's your favorite gun? I don't know. <laughs> it used to be the M1. I like this 308 a lot. I'm not sure that I'm ready to determine that the 308 is officially my favorite. Because the M1 has a lot of power, and I like the 7 mil quite a bit too. I'll get back to you on that eventually once I get to compare them. How about that? How much would you like to see non-tips and maybe the odd single antler deer in Call of the Wild? So Blacktail, I don't think it's intentional, but they have this thing where one side can be like a diamond or a big four rack, and the other side's essentially a spike. Unfortunately, those don't score high because naturally they only have one side. In theory, they should score effectively zero, more or less, because the deductions would cancel everything out. 
um, but call the wild scores differently than how real life would. I think they're one of the coolest things in the game, though. Somebody shot a piebald one, and I just think it looks amazing. Um, so I think single antler deer would be fun. Maybe just never with the diamond rack, because that would just be annoying. Like, oh, that would have been a diamond, except it only has one antler. As for non-typicals, I mean, we have that in a way with the great ones, but classics non-typicals are definitely better. I'd like it if they had something like that. Can you imagine, Bottom Boy? The 7 mil in bolt action? They have a 7 mil bullpup in classic. Now, classic's a very different game, but, you know, they did say everything from classic would work its way into Call of the Wild eventually. Just messed up a diamond turkey? There a diamond dozen. You'll find more. A diamond dozen? Come here. Come here. I want a seven mil and call the wild. Well, there's the uh, the break action. I assume you mean a bolt. When do the ARs come out? Tomorrow. No red deers. Oh, there's some red deers. So the annoying thing is, uh, either we don't get to claim these, or we'll have to run forever to do so. But. We'll shoot him either way. I shot a big horn sheep with just one horn. Was it a female? I think there was a bug with that. If I remember correctly, there was also, at one time, female wildebeest. Level ones could end up having only one horn. It was kind of neat. Like, I think that should have been more rare. But I don't hate the idea. How many times have you answered that question? You find a squeaker on the one toy you never squeak, huh? The, th the thing about it for us is like, you know, so, oh, is that a bad shot? I thought we got that. Somebody that's coming in and asking that question wasn't here for the previous hour when it's been answered before, so, like, it's not their fault. Uh, hopefully I can get a great one tomorrow. Hey, who knows? Might just have one on your map waiting on you. If you want, my uncle has 1100 too, and I could ask him about it and tell you. Uh, regarding the size of the shells you can put in it, I'd be interested in knowing. This this is this might make me look stupid because I I really have no idea. So if I wanted to get buckshot for that shotgun, can you get buckshot in two and three quarter or no? I assume you can, but I I've never never once fired buckshot, never had a purpose for it, but I kind of think that's what I want to try to hunt that coyote with. Chicken nuggets or meatballs for dinner? Chicken nuggets is always the answer. To a lot of questions, um, including ones that have nothing to do with what you should eat for dinner. Two and three quarter buck shot is plentiful? All right. My dad might have some, I, I honestly have no clue. If he does, then I'm gonna have to go and get some, but I think I've got a bit of a window where I might be able to get this coyote and I think I better act on it. Can't use a 22? Uh, you could. It, it's like a 40 or 50 pound yote, though. I'd like something a little bigger. You gotta realize with coyotes, when you're trying to call them in, they're moving quick, they have incredible eyesight, they're probably gonna end up catching you. So you don't always have time to line up, say, like a, a brain shot or something. Why do I not see that in chat? I guess alerts are out, out to in chat today. Patrick, thank you for the super chat. Thoughts on a 300 blackout coming to Call of the Wild? Also, what caliber would you want to see come to the game? We talked a bit about a 300 blackout potentially. Um, it's a popular caliber. I think it would be a, a cool thing. As long as they balance it correctly. You know, if it was classes like 3 to 7 for some reason, that would be insane. What caliber do I want to see come to the game? You know, I use a 7 MA Mod 8 in real life, so probably that, but only because I like to use things in game that I use in real life. I often, in fact, this year, in classic day of one, and I did a video the night before rifle season hunting with that. Jake, thank you as well. Can you show your skills and perks? I can. I will also say if you're in the Discord, there's a command that will allow you to uh, see all that stuff. So, you know, if you don't get a screenshot of whatever you're looking for here or anything like that, you can go into the Discord and get it. What time do I tell a drink on Rancho? Uh, it was 8 to 11, it, it would be for anybody playing today, but with this update it may have changed. I actually have not been on Rancho to test. Somebody out there had that information. 
What binoculars are you using? Uh, the Apex View something range finding binoculars. Let me see. Apex View 7x42. The range finding capability, you know, you think about it. You might think it's only good for archery hunting, but if you're making a 300 meter shot, you want to know that it's 300 meters and to zero for that range. Not gonna lie, it's a little more dead down through here than what I thought it was gonna be. I think this might be our last stop along the river. We might just go ahead and move on. Excuse you. Do you want up? Hi. You wanna come say hi? You gonna chew on my armrest? Probably. What are your thoughts on suppressors in Call of the Wild? If they were only... I don't know how to explain this. If suppressors only made the sound that you hear of the guns lower, then I'm all for it. I think some guns are too loud. I would actually like to get to turn the volume up of the game more for streams and videos, but the some of the guns are just so loud that it, it would be kind of like painful to headphone users to, to go further. So, the issue is, what I don't want is for the game to become easier. And if suppressors made animals spook from, or not spook from closer, then I, I want nothing to do with them. I think there's a very fine line between making the game too easy and adding useful things, and that kind of crosses that line. What is the brand of your dog? She is a uh, Remington Model 1100, big male slayer, chin licker, cho toe chewer, 5,000. The brand of your dog. That's my favorite way to ask that. I guess I should have actually answered the question instead of saying that. <laughs> uh, how's the penetration of the 308 compared? Oh, I, did, I thought we were still loading. Sorry. Uh, penetration of the 308 compared to the M1? They seem to be very similar. I, d I don't notice much difference in power, frankly. The biggest difference is the recoil. It just allows you to get back on target so much more quickly. Chin liquor toe chewer. She is. You gotta see her when uh, when she sleeps on like her bed is directly under my desk because she sleeps at my feet half the time. She'll just like cuddle my toes and then if she ain't cuddling my toes, she's chewing them. I can hear the dog chewing. Can you? She's trying to eat my shorts or something right now. Can you give her one of the ropes or something, please? Hmm? What? Can you give her one of the ropes or something so she doesn't eat my? Oh, there you go. Go get damn goodies. Yeah, work for us. Our piebald rodeo ray, of course. Oh, nice, Tyler. Are you going to go online today in game? Uh, as I was saying earlier, this content creator early access to the new weapon pack is a separate build. I could host a game and you guys wouldn't see it anyway. How do you get diamonds so quickly in your vids? A combination of... Normally when I hunt, I am chasing whatever species is active. So like if I'm playing a multiplayer and I join, say, a Quattro game since that's where we're on, and the time is Red Deer's drink time, I'm going to go chase Red Deer. Even if I was planning on hunting something else, I just kind of hunt whatever is currently drinking or active or, or you know, whatever you want to call that. So there's that, and there's also, you'll see it in tomorrow's video. Ooh, there's a thick pig. Might want to find that real quick. Um, if I get the chance, you know, maybe I'll do a Red Deer run, and I might not record that run, but if something good shows up, I'll record the something good, and sometimes those get interla interlaced into um, videos that way. And yeah, like Kyla said, the videos do take hours. Like, it might be a 10 minute video, those 10 minutes are probably the best 10 minutes out of two hours of hunting, three hours of hunting. One of our hunts, I think it was classic, was four hours recently. Thick Pig, my high school nickname. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> was it with a K or two Cs? These, what's your thoughts on, or such low balls, give them some hard ones. Like, Flincher, what's your thoughts on Russia's plan to invade Ukraine? Um, I think they should, they should have a plan L, which would be the, the 12th plan naturally between A and L, 
And they should go with that one. Oh dear, what time do pigs feed now? <laughs> this might be an old track. Let's see. That's not that old. Let's see if we can figure out what direction it went in from there. Hello there. Chasing big bacon. Well, everything got pop reset. Um, and I have not shot anything on the reset from Quattro that's been special, minus the melanistic red deer, so kind of hoping for the best here. It happened on uh, Varunga. We picked up a max weight jackal track on Friday stream and it ended up being a diamond. If you didn't see that, that will make it into at least the end of the month montage, which, my lord, that's a week away. I better start finding some good stuff. Do the boar still drink at night? Uh, I think they drink three to six like feral pigs now, if I'm not mistaken. At least on Quattro. A migraine's gonna happen. Chuck your phone, take a nap. Where did the tracks go? Excuse me, that was not there. I just watched that up here. Did you guys see that? That track was not there. We ran past it and then it appeared. I'm not crazy, right? What scope do you use? I prefer the Argus. I like, you know, often we go for longer shots, 300 meters. I like to be able to zoom the scope in and just really have a good idea of where I'm, where I'm aiming. Just a personal preference. I know a lot of people prefer the Hyperion for the wider field of view. Stop repeating every 12 seconds, it'll do you no good. Level 9 albino wolf, holy! Have you tried red dots? I'm not very good at aiming with them. I'll leave that to the people that are more uh, capable with, you know, say your... Um, what's the name of that game? Tarkov? Games like that? Those guys will probably be able to speak more to how good they are than I would. Hand feeding my magpies? Nice. Oh dear bottom boy. Are you gonna make a new which weapon pack should I buy video? Yeah, maybe so. Maybe I need to do that with this one releasing. You don't gotta get those ideas in her head, bottom boy. It's not good. Tarkov is so hard to get good at. I never played it. Um, I played a good amount of PUBG, if I remember correctly, Tarkov wasn't out yet. And at the time that I kind of stepped away from PUBG, I, I was like, this, this is probably the end of my shooter game career. I'm not good with this kind of stuff. My issue is with any game like that, and you even see it in Red Dead sometimes when I'm streaming that. If whatever I'm shooting at can shoot back, I just panic more than anything. It's not good. Where is it? Oh, it's a five. <laughs> well worth the track, I would say. We haven't shot a diamond boar in a while. Try to get ourselves set up. So we don't have a, or do we? We have a diamond with the 22. We have a diamond with the 223. I don't think we have a diamond with the 308 yet. Holy big male. We're just gonna get ourselves up on top of the hill. We're gonna hope it's gonna try to return to its zone. And ideally it's gonna come back past us. I really, I felt the urge to, uh, to try to shoot it on the run because wild boar drives are a very, a very big thing. A very, very big thing in the real lives. But I would like to get the diamond on that. I had a good estimate too up into the 160s. Berry, strawberry. Eh, I guess this will work. Come here, Sir 12. Use the 223? You're right, I won't. You know why? I don't have it. <laughs> Do we have a level hog? I think he's level. Looked like he was, you know, not leaning in any directions. Ooh, that's a big one, Brody. It's actually a great one hiding as a five. All right, I'll be prepared. It can't fool me with its tactics. Pot roast and potatoes. I am dying? That's not good. Why are you dying? What starter pack do you recommend? Uh, starter pack? Do you mean like what DLC as a beginner? Heart shot or bust? 
I mean, I could try, assuming that it comes back. That hog will make a fine vegan BLT. Boar lettuce and tomato. That still, unfortunately, is not vegan. Man, she tore up my shorts a little bit when she was trying to chew on them. There he is. All right, let's just alert him if we can. Well, I didn't want him to stop right away. I was hoping he would continue forward a little further. Excuse me, sir. There you go. All right, do that again. I'm not even certain he went alert. Listen, you're supposed to give me a shot here. Maybe we should wait till he crosses down into this other opening. That's not him. I'll take that one behind. It's him. It might have been. Nope. Nope. I think that's him. Yes. Alright, listen, Sir 12. I don't really need you in my way right now. How's that? Does that count as hard shot? Bacon says no. I could have shot him a couple of times, but I wanted that, that hard shot opportunity. Oh shoot, a five came in just in time. Smoked. Literally just crumpled too. <laughs> it was perfect. I don't think he ever like had animation, just was down immediately. Uh, it's not much sky to look at. Let's just kind of look into the dirt. 142? Wait, thought it was gonna be bigger than that. Oh no, it was 131, not 141. Well, that's a bummer. <laughs> Got absolutely trolled. That wasn't even a hard shot. I shot way further back. Kind of impressive that it insta dropped. The wild boar. Danny, thank you for the super chat. Big smoked bacon. Strugs. Strugs indeed. This is what I get for thinking we shot our, uh, our diamond with the 308 now. Oh well. Back to Red Deer we go. Oof, indeed. It's alright. We have a couple of diamond piglets. To be honest, most of them are, uh, or two of them are Hirschfeld and Mission ones. We maybe replace one with a, with a uh, random spawn. Hog is a 12 confirmed. Only a 12 would troll like that. Smalls. Look at all these small males. Golly. Dude, they're everywhere. <laughs> What tripod? I've got them all over the place because nothing is a uh, permanent setup just yet. When does the pack come out? Tomorrow. Alright. Trying to get the two of these guys. Nice. I think we're best moving to the other tripod to get the other ones. How's the hunt? We just got trolled by a level 5 wild boar, so that was a little annoying, but... Otherwise, been good. Been uh, shooting quite a few red deer. Man, there's five stags over there. And the best one is going to be a silver. That is a little rough. What class is the 308 cover? Four days. Same as the M1, same as the 303, 30 out 6, any of those uh, medium game rifles. How do you make a multi mount? Uh, you go into the Trophy Lodge, and there's a tab on the left when you open the menu. I think it's Matt, Matt's um, multi-mounts. Then you just choose the one you want to make from there. Okay, so... Well, I only see... Okay, wait, there, there's a third one in there. Is that a butt or a neck? I think it's a butt. Uh... A little unfortunate. I think we're just gonna have to try to take the two and then see if we can maybe get the other ones on the run. Just kind of perfectly placed behind the trees there. Hit that one. So... I think I ran in front of the one we were trying to shoot. With the 308, it's kind of like the M1 you need to uh, flesh hits. To kill a red deer, I think that one's gonna get away. Yeah, that ain't that bad. We'll be happy with that. I don't know neck from butt. It's true. 
uh, what is the release time for the new pack? They never give a release time, but normally kind of morning uh, Eastern time. These guns are definitely quieter. Uh, I don't think they're quieter than any other rifle. They're quieter sounding, but it's still 200 meter spook distance. That red deer, apparently. He was really bodyguarding to the max. 12, 12 a.m.? Yes. Ooh, nice, Luke. I uh, just got back from Havelina Hunt. It was the best. Hope you're having a great day. I am, man. Thank you. And uh, I'm going to assume you got something if it was the best. I was going to say congrats. I'll wait and see if you uh, have such information. Goodness, James. Shot a level three red deer today. Those small males are the best. Eh. Guess there were more that were too close to the tent that have just spawned in. I mean, this lake is loaded. That's gonna be... I don't even know. <laughs> There's not enough hunting pressure because we were in a tripod. We shot five, six, like seven stags. Maybe more. What's 5 plus 10? 12. Quick math. There were two over here, right? Help me, sir. 12, I can't count. Just think of the roast. <laughs> the reward. If only she'd sold wine. Maybe, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I've seen one, like, in the Pittsburgh area, like, wine. I wouldn't know. I've never gone to a Sheets in Pittsburgh. The outline of the animal when highlighted looks janky. I remember it was messed up a while ago. I think it's okay now, though. Are they as nice? I have... Uh, what? I, having, I haven't used them yet, maybe is what you're trying to say. The pack actually hasn't released. It's going to come out tomorrow... We've got the opportunity to try them in early access thanks to EW, but yeah, I like them. The, the 223 is maybe, I don't know, it's a 223. Like, you'd expect the 243 to be more powerful, but apparently the 22H is more powerful than it is, so that, that kind of makes it feel a little bit weird to use, but I still like it. 22 is a bunch of fun. The only issue with it is it's louder to the animals than the 22 Virant. So if you're familiar with the 22 strat where you shoot near an animal uh, to alert it, you can't do that with the 22 AR. So that kind of makes the Virate more viable to carry. Um, as far as the 308 though, it's, it's fantastic for grinding. Can someone post under Discord in the chat? Maybe. What's the plus icon on the praise button for the dog? Uh, so that is a little trait. I had to put my speakers on and see what happens if I do that with Shadow in the room. Probably too distracted with her venison chew thing, whatever that is. When you're Ozzy, it's the 22nd. How do they handle that? Is, I guess it's all the same time. I swear, though... There was something in Call of the Wild that, maybe for those of you that have been around a long time, Rekiwi and Riki Racer, uh, they were content creators from Jack's Abuse community in Call of the Wild. I, I'm nearly certain they got access to something before everybody else because they were in Australia. Maybe, maybe they were just messing with me and I was stupid and believed it. That's also possible. I don't have the Howl command. Yeah, it's not useful for anything. It is cool though, like if you hunt with friends um, very frequently and, and uh, if you and your friends have dogs. If you knew somebody that has a dog and you do the how thing, they'll... I don't think they respond, I think they join in. Like they all do at the same time. The 22 strat still works with the 22 Viren. Did I misspeak or you respond to somebody? It does still work with that, not with the AR. I might have misspoken. What's the best way of making money? So actually, the interesting thing about geese, I, I still think it's the best way to make money, but they've reduced the cash by like 20 or 30% that you get per goose. 
Uh, so that does make things like Fallow Deer on Tay Aoroa or, you know, Red Deer on Tay or Quattro maybe a little more viable. I mean, look at this. Sometimes the way that they spawn. My god, four level fours. What is that? These are Red Deer, not like, not like uh, Ibex or something that maxes at five. That's some trash. They all gotta die. No level tens. So it works with the 22 AR? <laughs> the 22 strat does not. It only works with the Virant. I think I said something bad and it messed everybody up. Okay. They are 230 out. That one between the brush might be a problem. I'm worried that if we try to shoot that one first, we're going to hit the brush. Let's try to shoot between it. Cool. The only question is, is that last shot too low? Oh man, it was. I wanted to be 4 for 4. Yeah. Didn't speed up as fast as I thought he would. Don't get away. I'll not allow it. That'll make him dead. Did the pop reset already happen? Uh, no. Um, mine will have because I'm on the early access for content creators, but the update officially is tomorrow. Do you fish? Not as much as I'd like to, um, but yes. Another one out there. Stags for days. Let's see if we can get this next shot. Got to keep it a little bit to the left. I'm guessing they'll fix that, but right now it seems all of the ARs are high and right. So in the video where I was talking about it, it is uh, in fact a thing that was not me shooting poorly. Look how wide that guy is. Wide boy, oh, get out of here, sir. 12. Goodness gracious. All right. Let's see if we can do this. I think it should be good. So what, we shot four, five, seven stacks at this lake too. Like sometimes it feels like Tay, but they don't always respawn like that. Sometimes they respawn elsewhere. Will you take a great one with an air rifle? That was supposed to be Billy's thing. I think the crow do it too? That great one with an air rifle? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So, I don't know. I like to try to come up with unique things. I was not the first one to shoot a great one with a bow, unfortunately. Somebody did that before I did um, with the whitetail. But that was kind of something I committed to from the beginning. Uh, the idea that I had has kind of been done already. So I'm probably going to try to come up with something else when and if a great one red deer spawns. I like the idea of trying to use a hip shot with the reticle. So for those of you that... Oh my god. For those of you that maybe haven't seen that... There is a optional reticle. You can turn it on if you so please. Basically, it stays in the middle of your screen until you aim. So, like, uh, go ahead and take the scope off. Reticle goes away when you're actually aiming. But you can hip shot with that. And I'm wondering, like, if I use my skills and perks that will help with... Oh, that's cool. Hold on, I gotta show you guys something in a minute. Um, if I use the skills and perks that help with... Um, making hip shots more accurate. I may try to do it that way, but I feel like I'm leaving it up to chance. So I don't know, I, we'll have to see. So there's a thing, if you can see it here. Uh, where'd it go? Co-op outline color, I think you can change now the spotting outline color for animals spotted by somebody that's not you in the game. I always kind of didn't like the color that it would give you, so that'll be nice to be able to customize. Now, does it work with a recurve, but does the, the reticle go off your screen? It does go away. I said that on the Twitch stream on Friday. I was like, man, they just made the recurve obsolete. They just gave you a sight for it, but nah, it goes away when you aim. Big mail! There's another one in there, too, that uh, probably is bigger than that, but try to... Get that guy. Another one. I think there's a third, too. Eh, it might have been a hide. So that's now like nine stags of this lake. That is insane. Are all the ARs free when you buy the DLC? I believe so, yes. I'm hoping they maybe build off that, because they, they do only have two variations each. A lot of times, weapon packs, the weapons have three variations. 
Maybe a future map or, or something will give us like a cool skin um, AR for one of them. Can you please get some big males for us? I shot a troll wild boar earlier. <laughs> Does that count? Can I get a great one soon? I'm, I'm hoping for the best. Have you tried out the new Rhino? We shot at least one Cape Buffalo with it on Friday. I don't know if we've done more than that. Maybe the next, uh, next cool red deer or something we find. We can try to take it with that. 231, not bad. Alright, back to the other side again to go claim more stuff. Kyla has all the good stuff. In game, that's for sure. When you restart, you lose your trophies. So you're saying if you like press new game or asking, I guess. If you press new game, if you lose your stuff, you do not. If you start a brand new game, you will still have your trophy lodges intact with all the animals in it. How many great ones do I have? According to my stat sheet, 19, but I only have one. There was a period of time where the game tried to count great ones, as, or uh, diamonds as great ones, and I guess they didn't clear the counter back to zero. I'd prefer it to say zero than 19. Huh. I think the small guy that we shot, we maybe didn't hit that well. Oh, it just died, actually. Mm hmm. Hopefully it was coming back to its zone, otherwise this is going to be a bit of a long track. Get Sir 12 right on it. 3,800 kills in the Rancho Waito grind and still no great one. I feel you, man. I was in the area of like almost 4,300 uh, red deer. Did not manage it, and of course the popper set uh, smoked that, so we're back to round two here. I guess we'll go back up to the top right and see what's going on. Can you please explain how respawns work? Like if you shoot a mythical red deer, can it respawn as a level 4 or like a 7 in the same weight class? We used to generally think that it would be in the same weight class, and I don't know exactly what kind of led us to believe that, but I'm of the opinion now from doing the different grinds from, from Red Fox to the Great One Whitetail grind to Musk Deer, uh, to obviously Red Deer, it seems to be entirely random. Now, the thing about it is that makes it so tough to really know for sure how it works is that there's no proof and in fact I, I actually think animals do not always respawn in the same place that you shot them so that level six the respawn replacing him may end up being somewhere else on the map entirely like it doesn't have to necessarily be at this lake at all uh it could be you know, who knows where so maybe they do respawn in the same way class generally but because it could respawn anywhere, it's hard to tell exactly. But I, for the most part, I just think it's random. Man snipes like he's playing COD. I'm just trying to be efficient. <laughs> I'm trying to shoot and go. Also, I'm not as accurate as I need to be. I think we'll fast travel back and get that one. Still have yet to see proof of what? Curious. What was that? Something just got posted. I just saw a thing. Like certain ones never will. Red deer never will. You'll never see a level 8 diamond red deer this legit. Um, they're, they're... You've never had the potential for that to happen because the racks that level 8 red deer get are never big enough. Water buffalo have been able to do it for a while. Apparently pumas can... Um, oh, a, a, a gray fox, that's what it was. That was just posted recently, a mythical diamond one. Newer species are more likely. You'll see that kind of stuff happening. They've been kind of trending that way for a while. I think maybe mythical bobcats would have a chance. Generally speaking, though, you, you shouldn't expect it to happen. Has a weapon finally dethroned the M1? You know, power-wise, I don't see a big difference. And initially it took some getting used to. I I think I was 
trying to compensate for too much recoil as if I was using the M1. But as I've got used to the recoil of the 308, I've got to say, like, the ability to get so many shots off in such a short period of time is insane. Like, had I made a better shot at the last zone, I easily could have had four stacks down at that zone before they were starting to flee. What's up, winners? You level 3 red deer smaller than a roe deer? It seemed that way, didn't it? That's the kind of big male spawns I get around here. Could I do fishing videos? Uh, I'll tell you what, if I can get any kind of consistency fishing here, I'll try to film it. Could have sworn that I saw a dead stag back in the brush through the back window of the tent. Maybe I did not. Can animals switch genders on respawn? So what I should say is that there's no official information out there. EW purposely keeps that information from us, because if you knew exactly how respawns work, um, you could probably find a way to exploit that. But to my knowledge, everything I've seen would say no. Um, a stag is always going to respawn as a stag, and hind always as a hind. That was unfortunate. He just started the sprint. We got that shot off. Was that last one into a lung? I guess not. This might be some serious semi-automatic time at this rate. Not a clue where he came from. I still don't know where that other one that we shot is. This way further? Got the smallest males indeed. Snakehead, thank you for the super chat. If you had the time and money, which maps, like the places they're based on, would you hunt in real life? And what would you hunt on them? Let's see. Uh, Yukon Caribou for sure. And probably Moose. That would be the area that I'd like to hunt Moose out of all the maps. I wish Rancho had Kuda's Deer. Because I would definitely choose that, but they don't have it. Uh, if I were to hunt Bighorn, I'd probably want to hunt Desert Bighorn, so maybe, maybe, uh, Bighorn on Rancho. SRP Mule Deer for sure, and Pronghorn, but that I plan to make happen this year regardless. And do I have any other ones that I would definitely choose? I'd like to hunt Red Deer, but I don't know what map I would hunt them on. Probably Tay. Uh, Brayden, thank you for the super chat. Favorite map overall is still Layton. I really like hunting antler species, it's just my favorite. And Layton to this day remains the map with the most antler species at four uh, moose, elk, whitetail, blacktail. Maybe they switch them with the whitetails? I think it's too late. So the issue is, like, they might be pronounced cow's deer, by the way. I, I don't know. I've always said goose deer. But, uh, whatever they are. They're a subspecies of whitetail. So they can't just add them onto the same map. They can't have normal whitetail and cows or coos whitetail. That just wouldn't make sense. And the uh, complaints, because Rancho is basically the top grinding map for for whitetail, the complaints would probably outweigh the benefit of adding them at this point. Maybe another day we'll see such things. Man, it's after 10 o'clock. How did that happen? Uh, I don't know where to go. Let's go here. We haven't gotten to this spot for our respawns. It's supposed to be good. Do you think the 308 will replace the M1? This is the first run that I've done thus far where I've really felt like, yeah, the 308 probably is better than the M1 a bit. I, I sent Scar Scarecrow a message um, last night when I was doing some Red Deer grinding, and I was like, dude, I don't I don't know that the 308 is actually better than the M1, but as I've gotten used to the recoil, I'm realizing I think it is. The biggest issue I believe I had is that I was actually overcompensating, expecting more, more recoil as if I was using the M1, and I'm not. I think that's mostly the problem that I was having, because now, as I've kind of gotten used to this level of recoil, I realize just, like, how effective I can be shooting the stags, so, you know, I think it's gonna, that's gonna pop that hind in the head, that was annoying. I think it's gonna replace it for me, but, you know, it remains to be seen. Shooting was not the best there to 
to sell any of my points about the 308, unfortunately. Oh boy. I don't even know if we hit that. I wanted to try to brain shot it. I think he might have ducked to get out of there just in time. This is gonna be a mess. Oh, nice, Gavin. What would you think about a British map? I don't know what's hunted uh, in Britain land that much, but assuming that there's a good variety of game and some new species, I'd, I'd be all for it. Ooh, what are all these tracks? Bunch of wolves. Evidently. Okay, so sometimes I get them on this side. I don't see any at the moment. And yeah, we gotta look back this way. Yeah, it doesn't look like any spawned in. I think we got them all. Uh, what happens if you spook a mission animal and can't shoot it for the mission to end? If you restart the game, it'll actually be back in the same general area where you first saw it. I remember I started the Were Coyote mission and I spooked it, and then I literally didn't mess with it for like six months. And then I went back into that area and I was able to find it right away. Have you ever got the great one? I got a great one white tail. Um, I think I was the second person to ever get one. And then I'm gonna be the last person on earth to get a great one red deer at this rate. Most of the species in the UK are the same ones on Hirschfeld, and that's kinda what I thought. Wait. This would indicate there was a stag over here. Where was that standing? Uh, probably that guy up there. It might be a little bit too late, he may have been leaving his zone. Excuse me, sir. That's yeah, fine. If it's this one, he's small and common. I can't remember, Bottom Boy, if it was me misremembering or if they changed it, but I thought when they released the species list for Layton way back, you know, like before the game came out, I thought it was Whitetail and Mule Deer, not Whitetail and Blacktail. And I think everything else kind of stayed the same. You can argue that Mule Deer could be there, although it's probably not as mountainous as it ought to be. There's some areas that would that would be good enough. I still wish to, and I, this has got to get on a different topic, but... You know, if Rancho Mule Deer were just called Desert Mule Deer, and if Rancho Bighorn were just called Desert Bighorn, I wouldn't care if they look exactly like the other ones. Maybe they could, you know, change the furs. They kind of, they did some stuff anyway. It just would kind of add variety in the subspecies. I mean, we've got Rocky Mountain versus Roosevelt Elk. A little bit of a different situation, but similar. Uh, Lost Mojo, thank you for the super chat. Have you ever shot a deer IRL and what did it would score on Call of the Wild? Uh, mm, yeah, kinda. <laughs> the buck that I shot this past year, I was, uh, it was the first time I was ever like, this is my, this is my real life great one. It was, uh, so much bigger than any other deer that I'd ever seen. Uh, I did, Amy. Coming up on five o'clock. Got a claim, and that'll be it. I killed two great one white tails last night. That seems a little sus. Thoughts on a South Asia map? Again, I'm not familiar with the species in the area, but generally speaking, regardless of what map it may be, if it would feature, like, say, three or four new species, and, you know, is, okay, let me, let me make sure I clarify this. Three or four new species is not four different, different types of Ibex, like, you know how Quattro has four different types of Ibex, as long as they're unique species, then I'd be all in. Did you get Kyla's first deer or your buck on video? Both are on video. Kyla's deer was a little bit behind a tree, but you could see it. That's one of those situations where, like, if it was me and I was filming my own deer, I'd have waited. But, you know, this was Kyla's first opportunity to deer. I'm not going to be like, I can't see it good enough. Don't shoot yet. Just not trying to get into, get into her head when she's trying to make that shot. Are you friends with DD33? We, we used to talk a lot more than we do now. Not that we had a falling out or anything. It's just kind of, you know, we have our own schedules and own stuff going on, but I, I would say so. 
All right, I don't know if we claimed everything. I know we have the one on the other side. I think we'll assume that we got all our ones on this side. If you shoot an animal and don't pick it up, will it respawn? I've been told they do. Uh, I don't know on this update. I'm pretty sure they respawn if you don't pick them up, but I'm kind of, I don't know. That's sort of against the spirit of the game, in my opinion. I can't assume that's intentional. It's kind of a no-win situation for the devs. If they make them respawn without shooting them, it makes grinding easier. If, or sorry, without claiming them, obviously you gotta shoot them. Um, if they make them where they don't respawn if you don't claim them, then people abuse that. Unchanged even after the update, I gotcha. Snakehead, thank you again. Uh, I've mentioned this before, but they could have added more antler species in some of the maps like Parque, Te, Quatro, and Rancho. Yeah, I wish they would have. I like antlers, you know, not everybody does, so I get it, but I wish they would have. That's the thing, Scarecrow, there's no winning. There, there must be some middle ground where they could do that. Is the 308 your favorite AR? It is. I, I regret to say that it is. I really wanted the 223 and the 22 to be my favorites. The 308 is so good. It's just, it's the best option at class 4 to 8. The more I've gotten used to the recoil, I don't know if you're here to uh, hear me say a Scarecrow, because I, I was mentioning that I sent you a message not what, not being certain if the 308 was better than the M1. But as I've gotten used to not trying to overcompensate for the recoil that I was used to with the M1, I'm feeling like the 308 is uh, is the best option. The 223, you know, I, I kind of think the 243 is going to end up still being my small game weapon. And the 22, the Viren has the 22 strat, and the AR-15-22 does not, so for that reason, I'm probably likely to carry the Viren. Anyway, on that note, we are going to wrap this stream up. No diamonds or rares, but we shot a bunch of stags. I don't know how many total. A whole bunch, from the looks of it. Uh, just in the last 20 minutes, we killed 20? Not too bad. Not too bad at all. So I think... That is going to do it for the stream, so uh, I will say, with the AR pack coming out tomorrow, I don't know if we'll stream, especially with having a puppy, like would it just have the, the video that I intend to release, but hope you guys enjoy the new weapons. As always, thank you for watching, thanks for hanging out, thanks for all the support, and I'll see you in that video tomorrow. Bye!